Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to our Beagle Framework tutorial. This is the third, the third part of the routing system in Beagle. Today, we will talk. We will talk about uh, namespace, and uh, also we will talk about how to plan and organize routers in Beagle. So. The namespace in Beagle is also inspired by Signature and uh, uh, Laravel. This is a demo, the, the example of uh, Beagle's namespace. We can check it here. So in Beagle, you can use Beagle.new namespace to, to create a uh, namespace and uh, you can set up conditions you can set up features you can set up set up uh, the router functions so here is the namespace api new new namespace to create a, a namespace and to create a namespace object so for this namespace object you can have the uh, methods such as condition which will set up the condition and if the conditions are satisfied then it will process the namespace otherwise it will uh, return a method not allowed page uh, this page right now it's fixed the message the message error message is fixed later we will improve this you can set up some uh, customized uh, page such as 404 or other pages. You can also set up set up features. Uh, you can set up before and after features, and uh, to filter out the res uh, request and the response. So for the root, uh, router functions, all those uh, functions functions we talked be we talked about in the first the first uh, router system tutorial it's all available in namespace also so you can use auto router you can use uh, get post and uh, router function and even handler so you can use all of them uh, you can uh, have a look of the first uh, tutorial to see how to use these uh, router functions. Okay, let's see the example. So here, check v1, which telling you message. I need to rerun this uh, this project. Okay, it's written for full page. As you can see here, we register a namespace which called NS, and we set up the uh, which the name of the namespace. The prefix is the slash v1. So we set up the condition. This condition just written true. You can uh, have your uh, as a logic here. We set that we set up the feature function, which is defined here, which is also re, uh, which written nothing, which is the default is true. So this will pass, and uh, we set up a get uh, a method which will uh, root the fixed uh, the fixed uh, URI to this function, which will just return a string. Let's have a look. So we first we go to namespace v1 and we the fixed uh, router which will return the string. So if we change the we change the condition here which return false. Let's run this project this file. And as you can see, it will return method not allowed uh, error page. This page will uh, will we will improve this, which lets you to customize this uh, page. So yeah, this is the basic, uh, the very simple 
namespace. So next, we will talk about the uh, the namespace in Beagle, it, which can nest it, which means you can uh, def, uh, define many level na namespace inside a namespace, such as this. So let's see the code here. We defined a namespace v2. Okay, when you de uh, develop the project, maybe in another version, you want to have some more modules, such as Alice module. So you can define inside this uh, names in the uh, namespace object. You can uh, register a new namespace, which is uh, you create a new name another namespace object here which will return uh, which defend a router function like this so let's have a look at this uh, namespace and also uh, we registered the bob module which is similar so let's have a look which we go to way to we go to alice and because this need a parameter here so we like this also works which we talked before and uh, if you pass in to some uh, mm, parameter it will output this parameter so also we have a bob module like this which we also registered the get method with a parameter so yeah, it will written Bob uh, Bob module. So also in inside this namespace, you can use the conditions features to do some other logics. So this is the uh, the nested uh, namespaces in Beagle. We are still uh, this is a very new feature, and uh, we are still improve uh, improve this. There might have some uh, uh, bugs we don't know, and maybe like uh, yeah, we uh, there will have a lot of uh, improvement uh, uh, recently. So you can have a, a look of this uh, new feature. Uh, yeah, and another thing is you use a big add namespace to to. Uh, Add the add the namespace like re, uh, register the namespace to this uh, process to this function. So next, so next we will talk how to plan and organize the project's uh, routing system. So usually for small project such as you only have uh, 20 routers in your project then you can just uh, set up all the routers inside the uh, routers folder and the router.go file such as here if you use bgo the the b tool to create the project you will have this uh, this structure already so the the benefit to uh, to to set up all the routers inside the router.go is like you can import it into your main.go function uh, file and uh, when your project running the routers it's all stored here so it can uh, uh, redirect uh, I mean the it can dispatch in the re uh, request to the controllers also, when you do the test cases, when, when you run the test, you can also import the same router file. Then, uh, which means all your test cases, you don't need to, you don't, it uh, doesn't require your uh, main project run running. So you can just uh, import the router and run your test cases. So it's a uh, it's more it's easily for you to run the test cases it don't require it, it doesn't require the uh, main project to run 
so this is a benefit to separate the routers into the router.go file uh, this is default by the way so for the uh, big project like you have a, a, a more a many modules like you have a maybe your shop your CMS your uh, uh, like your ERP system or maybe your OA system you have a lot of modules like uh, user management like you have those modules for this big project you can uh, you can plan your uh, routing system like this so for different modules for each module you register you create a namespace for it like for for ERP system so you just create a namespace called ERP and then you you will set up all the all the routers under the uh, for ERP system under this uh, this namespace so for this uh, uh, project the the uh, the router is uh, under this namespace and it's uh, uh, easy to uh, set set them up so later when you want to use this module no matter which project you want to uh, import you, uh, um, no, no matter in which project you want to import this module it, it can and then you just uh, import this uh, uh, namespace or router file you set up and then you can register the you can register the you can use add, add namespace to register this uh, namespace to register this module so you can easily set up uh, separate all the modules into different uh, folder different uh, even small project and uh, you can uh, uh, decouple them and you can use them anywhere you want so uh, this is how you uh, plan and uh, how you organize your root, uh, routers for the big project so uh, the benefit of this is you you separated and decoupled all the modules so the modules is uh, independent from each other so when you want to import them you just uh, import the namespace the router so and also the benefit is inside the modules you can use the simple uh, simple routers without the prefix and then in the uh, in the whole in the big in the main project you can uh, the namespace will not cla uh, cla clash because you have the uh, prefix the namespace prefix set up so your bigger project will be managed and organized uh, better much better and uh, it, uh, the, 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 the structure will be very clean, uh, clear so uh, yes this is the, our the last uh, the last part of our uh, routing system in Beagle so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this see you next time bye bye